नमस्ते मित्रों दिस इज चैनल बी आर आर्टिस्ट एंड अब वेलकम इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ एक संवाद टुडे वी हैव विद अस अनदर ब्रिलियंट आर्टिस्ट एन आर्टिस्ट हु हुज वर्क ऑफ आर्ट इज अ गुड पैराडॉक्स व्हेन आई से दिस इट मींस शी यूजेस सिंपल फॉर्म्स टू इवोक सम कॉम्प्लेक्स इमोशंस someone who plays with uh, uh, various mediums different mediums she is a sculptor she is an installation artist she does some conceptual work uh yes it's vanita gupta she shares a time between bangalore and mumbai as of now otherwise she is a typical mumbai girl we'll speak to her and try to know her thought process her belief her concept her philosophy her experiences and what she thinks about art welcome vanita A warm welcome to Channel VR Artists. Hi, hi, Vincent. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Vanita was going through your work of art. Even last time also, I think I spoke to you for a short time, and uh, uh, I always found your work of art uh, intriguing and uh, something which has a silent poetry. okay uh but i don't want to uh, uh um, you know put words now here i want to listen to you <laughs> so it's like uh a very creative approach and uh, uh um all artists as all artists uh, like you know everyone thinks out of the box but i am curious to know what your definition of out of the box thinking i think the individual language since each person is different you know and each uh, artist he or she uh, sooner or later arrives uh, tries to arrive at their own language you know what what how they see things or how they perceive things and that very individual language is different than than the uh, you know work of art or the language of art from the uh, you know your fellow artist or fellow people you know and that i uh, we could call it a you know then it becomes an out of box kind of a thing for the other person but maybe for the doer the person who's involved or engaged in doing it uh, it's a very simple and a very uh, you know ki mujhe to yahi bolna aata hai ki mujhe aise hi karna aata hai aur main wahi kar rahi hu so i would say uh my language you know uh maybe an onlooker would say bhai ye to alag hai ya fir it is uh, you know out of the box hai or uh, it's maybe a bit different uh, you know i think each artist arrives at it yeah yeah well said i understand i i i get it. Um, i get it uh when i when i view your artworks when i see your because you paint then yes. uh, you are into installation art you have some sculptures and uh, you work on uh, different mediums with the different mediums but however uh, when i see when i when when i have a holistic view on everything i get three impressions the first one is it's a paradox wherein you use very simple forms or minimum forms but you evoke complex emotions that is the first one i get second one i feel especially in your paintings i feel that uh, the beginning may be random or you begin from some random point but the end is very concrete it's complete that is one thing that, that's a second thing and the third one is i find it as a nice jugal bandi between dance and music i find the brush strokes dancing and when i say music uh, uh you see uh, one of the definitions of music usually when you ask like what what is music they say music is the first thing required for music is voice but uh, uh it's not that the first thing required for music is silence when silence is broken by the right stroke at the right time it becomes music anything misses out of this it becomes a noise uh, 
So when I see your painting, it's a beautiful music because that entire blank composition, the white composition, you have the right stroke at the right time. So it's a nice, beautiful music. It's like, so when I get, I get these three impressions. So I would like to know one by one, the paradox, the first one, such simple forms, minimal forms, and such complex emotions. question mark It's like, uh, it's like, you know, um, I, uh, I remember that, uh, that one of the, Quotes, it says like uh, um, life is an unanswered question, but I still believe in the dignity of the question. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know, I may be adding a lot of words, but just as a dictum, what's your thing about this paradox? Because it's not minimum, just a black stroke, laga ke mark, right stroke. It's, so, why is this? Uh, uh, how is this paradox? I would say rather. Listen, first of all, it's you very beautifully conveyed all three points. And, um, you know, that's another uh, a very interesting perspective that you're bringing to the, you know, the work or uh, things. Uh, but as you said, uh, to begin with your first uh, thing, you know, uh, like on a, like a blank canvas, uh, you know, I come up with something, right? Uh, the reason, sorry to cut you, the reason why I asked you this is you play with black and white mm -hmm. because usually Mumbai, the abstract painters from Mumbai are quite colorful. That's cool of. So totally now, you know, you are there out of the box again. And I, Mahabu, I, I, itne, itne forms, itne colors, itne layers mein khelte, and you just have one black stroke, either random stroke. Mein ke chhod diya. You know, I think uh, I think it's about I, I you know like whenever you, uh, we talk about abstraction or uh, you know it's it's very uh, I would rather say it's being misinterpreted a lot. You know, although we we are in this whole you know universe, like which is like which has so much, so much to give. We have so much to take from. Like, uh, and you use that word random. You know, you used it in your second thing, random. You know, in that randomness. Now I'm using here in a very different context. Like, there is lot in front of our eyes there's a lot happening you know and, but when you finally i come to my studio like when i come here and i'm in that space and and in that uh, silence that you spoke like you've used most of the words i would say so you know when you talk like that silence you know and that quiet canvas what do you what are you going to do you know that kind of thing what exactly so in that uh, you know, that chaos, I would say, I call it chaos, like it's very chaotic. Everything is like the sound of traffic, everything, and it's it's beautiful, okay? It's chaotic, it's beautiful, like, uh, but at, at the same time, it can be mind nerving, like you can be lost. And like, I think, so I think I find, I find, when I paint, I find things. So I, like, I, I'm not, uh, when I say I find, I said I don't know, but I find. And you also spoke about like, uh, 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 you know, like silence is important. I'm bringing all your things together, okay? So when you said silence is important, and uh, in music, you know, so I would say that. The moment I come on a canvas and at a, a particular particular in that space in a in that form and and it's a very particular very um, you know definite definite place pe usi jaga pe wo form dhar aayega and the, even if it is shifted a bit 
यू नो कि पूरा ब्लैंक कैनवस है बट कहीं पे कुछ एक ब्लैक आ जाता है लाइक यू नो अ स्ट्रक्चर विच इज वेरी डिमांडिंग एंड इट हैज टू कम देर सो आई थिंक आई जस्ट फाइंड इट इट एग्जिस्ट देर सो वेन एम आई एम इन दैट कंप्लीट tandem i am in complete sync with myself i think blacks are like that i always feel like mai circus mein wo acrobat hu wo idhar se trapeze you know yahan se jaake idhar jump karta hai aur miss ho gaya to gir kar wo mar jayega i like when i'm doing my canvas i feel like that you know i will just lose this canvas if i'm not 100% i'm going to lose it i'm going to mess it up so in that sense it's very at one moment it's um you could say it's random like no but it's at the same time it's very definite because if i lose it it's like you know dart game waha lagna hai nahi laga to nahi lagega wo sur ki tarah lagna hai warna wo you know fir wo it will be just a black mark on a white canvas for it to convert into a beautiful form or a form which um you know desires to live on my canvas um I think I go through that chaos. I go through that randomness, and I come to that place where I'm able to, you know, maybe find something. Yeah, and इसलिए मैं पूछा वो paradox कैसा है. So I just want to know. See, as an artist, see there are most of the artists or painters, they have that visual experience or that feeling or that you know that uh, the entire process going in their mind. They may not put it in words like no. it's like yeah. so i i definitely understand uh, 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 you, uh, i can feel what you're saying mm-hmm. the most significant part of your painting of your art is see many people ask me uh, uh, you know what is art definition of art there are, i you can have multiple definitions of art but one of the definitions of art is the ability to decide a decision making ability you know though you begin random but there is a point wherein as an artist you will have to start decide and to make a decision saying it's going to be here here it's like you know it is so i find that very significant and very very dramatic in you that the ability to decide the art of decision making it's like and that is why i was asking like what is that paradox you know it is just like that you know uh, like, like like that uh, of a flower the most tender thing but the most powerful thing ek gulab phool ek aisi hoti hai bahut tender hai but lekin wo sabse bade pehlwan ko bhi wo bolegi ki mere ko aista se handle kar getting me you will not get you will not get a very big pehlwan coming and grabbing the flower he will take it very well that is the power of that flower sabse tender something which is very tender but sabse bade pehlwan ko bhi jhuka gaya matlab it will tame he saying that deal handle with carefully so wo paradox mujhe bahut sahi laga mujhe bahut you know it was wo visual drama hai that is the drama there this man and that was i uh, that is why i was keen to know what your experience and how do you this thing the uh, the paradox element and I randomness think... yes oh sorry you are telling no, sorry, sorry sorry please go ahead no 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 please continue yeah so uh, you know i think it's like a you know the talisman so uh, the they come and they check you know ki yahan pe i feel i'm roaming with that stick in my studio you know like finding that right place in the canvas where it has to come but it is very instinctive absolutely it's very instinctive i can i i, I cannot plan it no absolutely i cannot plan it and i don't want to plan it but as we said finally what comes out of it is very concrete very solid very definite very decisive work of art which comes in the end and i believe in that uh, you know that finiteness i believe that it has to be uh, as per my own definition in my head you know it has to be that perfect form which tells me like stop here because i think it's very important to know when i have to stop like you know kab wo brush uthna hai canvas se bas anything itna sa bhi zyada hua then i have ruined the work you know 
that is so, why that is the key decision making is the key because this is not planning this is decision making in the sense something that you have done you have created matlab ho gaya kiya nahi ho gaya and but you know how to deal with that jo kuch bhi ho gaya you know it's like uh that is why you know it, it's like you know one of the definitions of art is mastering simplicity is art mastering complexity is science you know? so your canvas goes into that definition saying that when you master simplicity simple the colors lines forms absolute it's 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 talking simplicity it is taking simplicity presenting simplicity and that is art that's life but however from painting you move to sculptures you move to installation art now this is going from 2d to 3d kya zarurat mehsoos hui i think it was very uh, very instinctive again it was a very strong desire whenever i would do this black forms you know and mujhe har baar lagta tha ki they'll just crawl out of my canvas you know like they'll animate and they'll start moving in my studio and you know i was this there was a strong desire ki ab ye bahar nikal ke chalne lagega and uh, they had that potential to be actually in action i felt so one fine day i said no I it was a very uh, you know like it was a very uh, gradual very uh, very very strong urge to you know uh, do something more more tactile uh, you know i'm uh, more tactile more which can you know where i'm uh, not just uh, like That, like a duel which is not just happening uh, happening on a canvas but where i actually deal with forms you know actually create them and then you know bring them together and do something more out of them kind of a thing so very gradually it happened that you know i started dabbling with sculpture painting sculpture then i keep going back to painting then so and i mean i think it's ye ek dusre mein se bahar aaya even when we you know it, and then i it has happened like artists have done that and they do i think it's a very uh, natural process yeah absolute hota hai if, uh, you know artists uh, keep exploring because the the flow of creativity and the uh, and the and the hunger to create is so huge wo it takes various forms wo uh, and wo manifestation kaise nikalta hai pata nahi chalta usme because sometimes you can't stop the thought process idea jo nikalta ek bar flow shuru hua you can't stop aisa that is the way but the reason why i asked you is like once again here yahan pe in your paintings it's absolute black and white right it means a very logic brain yes no clear no drama no gray area no colors no colors no emotions i mean this thing uh, colors basically it's like a um, it's a range of emotions range of experiences range of expressions but there once again you have cut everything and put it straight away logic it's straight away yes no binary zero one black white it's like it has its it has its own beautiful aesthetics but when i see your sculptures or when i see when i see your other installation art waha pe there uh, uh, the, the vocabulary has or you can say the poetry uh, uh, there is lot of there is more words there is more grammar there is more vocabulary in that compared to your paintings you getting me this thing so i just wanted to i was keen i was curious to know uh जो वोकेबलरी या जो वर्ड्स पेंटिंग में इतने मिनिमल थे वो जैसे कोलैबोरेटिव वर्क हो जो इंस्टॉलेशन आर्ट हो या स्कल्पचर्स हो उसमें थोड़े बढ़ गए उसमें 
सो देर इट इज लाइक गॉन फ्रॉम टू डी टू थ्री डी एंड दोकेबलरी भी बढ़ गई उसमें so how how was the uh, how was that experience i mean intentionally unintentionally hua rahega pata nahi but i mean wo creative jaisa idea aaya kiya but i just want to know two things one is your experience and one is like how was that exploration see the thread uh, the thread continues i tell you how see when agar uh, if you, you look at my paintings there is this very solid black form okay and usi uh, canvas pe kahi pe ek bahut linear hollow form hota hai which is very empty it might be just like an outline you know so i think that dual of elements continues in my sculpture like if you look at my sculptures where i've used rubber and i've used metal metal is something very solid whereas when i'm using rubber balloons you know if you look at my sculptures from 2013 which were uh, shown by pandols there are some rubber balloon sculptures so balloon is something which is like empty vacuum and here i'm using metal which is a material which is absolutely solid strong and which like there is no way that you will bring them together you know and no way a balloon would survive in a metal structure you know being caught but i think that was my whole effort to you know see how they behave when two different elements are brought in on in this you know on the same in the same uh, group or a group, you know when they're trying to accommodate each other so i think essentially the thought thread continues maybe the elements maybe the form uh, has taken the medium has preceded those you know like obviously when i thought of uh, balloons i thought of like okay they have to be very funky you know you know like balloon bolne ke baad wo rubber bolne ke baad wo vulnerability ek taraf balloon itna fragile hai aur ek taraf metal itna tough hai ki how so it's like my uh, balloon was teasing the metal you know how i'm going to survive into you you know yeah. it's very challenging like okay i'm going to live with this kind of a thing mm uh-huh. तो आई थिंक वो मटेरियल के अपने कुछ रंग है जो वो ले आते हैं लाइक हर हर सब्सटेंस का हर एनीथिंग लाइक 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 व्हेन वी लाइक हम इंडियंस व्हेन वी थिंक ऑफ हेयर वी थिंक ऑफ ब्लैक हम गोल्ड नहीं सोच रहे बट हम लोगों उसी तरह से आई थिंक हर मटेरियल लाइक व्हेन आई थिंक ऑफ आयरन आई थिंक ऑफ समथिंग व्हिच इज सॉलिड ब्लैक डेंस बट व्हेन आई थिंक ऑफ इफ आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ समथिंग वेरी वल्नरेबल लाइट समथिंग व्हिच इज सो Airy, I think of balloons, and I think of something like. Then I think of those colors which will just merge into air, or you know, which are uh, probably essentially like a tease. This is kind of chidhara, I think. किसी को उस तरह का एक element था उसमें. I think. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Art के art expressions के इतने पहलू हैं, and it can go in, uh, you know. Uh, it can go at like you know physical mental psychological it can go at any yes. level any level and that is why abstract art uh, you know for example isme kehte hai ki amurta amurta is the word that that's in sanskrit or in devanagari amurta is the word and the uh, abstract uh, the word uh, uh, the translation to it they say it's abstract but that's a very loose translation अमूर्त का ट्रांसलेशन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नहीं है अमूर्त इज अनंत लिमिटलेस द मीनिंग ऑफ अमूर्त इज नॉट एब्स्ट्रैक्ट इट इज लिमिटलेस इट इज समथिंग विद नो बाउंड्री सो योर पेंटिंग इज मोर अमूर्त नॉट एब्स्ट्रैक्ट so it is some limitless like i mean jab main aisa when i see or when i pursue like this thing Uh, coming to the next uh, uh, point the next very interesting point was i think uh, recently you had a show in hyderabad or somewhere where yes. uh, uh, you used the your artworks or your forms on fashion on sarees or something yeah yeah correct yes 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 so i was doing the show with kalakriti gallery in hyderabad mm-hmm. yeah and then uh, 
I have been always, uh, so these were the first time I, you know, uh, showed something that I did on fashion, like fabrics, you know. So, uh, I have always been very uh, fascinated as per se by fashion, you know, uh, because I think uh, it comes from the fact that my forms were finite always on canvas then i i parallelly was doing sculptures like i think handling uh, you know something more like uh, so i when i was doing this uh, ye jab paintings hote the tab mujhe bahut bar lagta tha i need to do something you know like because sari is something which drapes very beautifully around you know a female body and it, it just enhances the expression of a woman i feel you know the way and i always thought you know my like ki bas ye simat ke aa jayenge kisi ke upar mujhe aisa bahut bar lagta tha ye form so i i really uh, i went through a uh, thing of uh, you know studying the techniques and um, you know the ways of printing and how i can uh, you know like uh, transform uh, I, i don't know if it's the right word of my uh, my paintings on a on a you know on a yards of fabric and that's what i did like um so then we thought okay you know like i discussed with the gallery to build up the actually let's drape few women in those so we took mannequins and so i think that was another way of uh yeah expressing me bahut interesting mere ko ye laga see it's like uh, uh, usme and mujhe sabse zyada interesting point mujhe ye laga is again the paradox there a female personality is colorful in terms of her mind her uh, her thought process her emotions everything again black and white pe she is full of so many range of things whereas you have very minimal forms look at the paradox why hearing me and because see what is fashion fashion basically it is not simply a clothing it is an attitude it is what you are within that speaks out fashion has to do lot with mind emotions personality everything it's not just a piece of cloth and uh, and the second uh, this thing is you know for example they say the nude is a proper noun clothes are simply adjectives hearing so there look at the uh, this thing so i was very keen to know like what went through your mind saying that ki yaar a rangila personality ko main black and white mein chipka deti hu usko uh to be honest nahi nahi aap bolo aap kuch bol rahe ha matlab and 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 a female personality is you know it's like you know uh, she is full of range full of range emotions bolo uh, uh, the uh, the um, the Uh, emotional intelligence polo nurturing ability polo to you know uh, she's full she's full law you know wo prakruti ka ek just ek uh, 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 the entire universe mein jo feminine energy ka ek uh, uh, you know one piece but everything to matlab itna bhara hua cheez only black and white logic mein lake rakh diya yes no mein lake rakh diya so ye paradox karne ke piche was there any idea or what went through your mind or what went i was just keen to know like how the exploration went because ye bahut interesting point hai uh i think black and white what i do like i think it is it's not a dis, uh, you know distraction no absolutely no so i think i like when i don't want people to get distracted you know i think that could be my thing if i i don't know a scientist will you know a doctor will have to figure out like why i do it you know like it's 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 there is a kind of definite you know definite thing something when i do black and white so when i think in terms of because i to me i feel that i know i just need to get it i just need to get that right form you know when i think of black and white i think of forms and i think of something which is something which is which cannot be distracted by anything else and coming to fashion 
coming to thinking of a human body or a female body or how it will drape it was essentially i was i had been i have been doing something you know i would just do sometimes things for fun like dye fabrics do things with them you know but essentially what i did for hyderabad gallery or when i started that a year ago was more to i thought these things uh, were always flowing around in on that canvas and i just want you know it was more of an experiential in my head like i want to see what happens when they are draped around a woman so tabhi bhi yahi tawajjuh tha ki bhai jo yahan ho raha hai wahan jaane ke baad kya hota hai bahut sahi you know kind of a thing एंड एंड यहाँ से क्या हुआ कि स्टैटिक से थोड़ा डायनेमिक हो गया द कैनवस इज जस्ट स्टैटिक वर एज जब यू नो वेन इट्स ऑन अ बॉडी ड्रेप ऑन अ बॉडी अभी वो तो एक ये है तो चलेगा बट जस्ट इमेजिन लाइक एनी लेडी वेरिंग दैट एंड मूविंग अराउंड बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एस्पेक्ट तो मुझे बेसिकली क्या है बहुत सारे रंग होते बहुत सारे फॉर्म्स होते तो शायद इतने आ, 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 क्या बोलते हैं इसमें इतने क्यूरियोसिटी पैदा नहीं होती है बिकॉज इट इज वेरी मिनिमल एंड येट इट इज मेकिंग अ वेरी पावरफुल स्टेटमेंट एंड दैट इज व्हाट इट्स मेकिंग इट सो क्यूरियस क्यूरियसिंग बहुत मजा आया इसमें वेल एनीथिंग दिस थिंग next thing i'm very curious to know like now you've done a lot of things you've done a lot of uh, something which is always intriguing posing questions making a statement as such you have tried your hands with many sculptures ho what is my paintings ho is there anything something that you feel like yaar ye bahut challenging hai pata nahi isko kaise kare lekin karna hai I think हर काम करते वक्त वो लगता है मुझे even if I have to do a canvas tomorrow I'll have that feeling yeah I mean कोई theme बोल रहा हूँ मैं something like you know some particular theme like you know this is something which ये एक subject एक topic है जिसको मैं चुना चाहती हूँ something like no I'm currently actually I'm मैं I'm really enjoying uh, you know this um switch over or you know parallel doings between um, my painting sculpture videos you know installation jo wo aapas mein hi bunta rehta hai it's like a weaving thing which goes in and out in and i and i think uh, uh, like it's very theatrical i think i would like to explore that something to do with theater and my installations you know i don't know it's not very clear right now good but that would be very interesting to see because you know and uh, because um, yeah and i've been thinking about it you know when the installation we had uh, put at pandavas in 2019 so that work in fact invoked that kind of actions and uh, um uh, we thought it had potential ki you know people come and interact with it एंड लोग आते थे कुछ छूना चाहते थे पर डरते थे सो यू नो एक इमर्सिव फील था उसमें कि जहाँ पर तुम्हें सिर्फ जैसे हम पेंटिंग को दे के निकल देख कर निकल जाते हैं बट जहाँ पे तुम किसी चीज को छू कर महसूस करते हो यू नो एक और यू इंडल्स मोर देन दैट काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग सो आई थिंक वो एक थिएट्रिकल परफॉर्मेंस की तरह भी काम आ सकता है ऐसा लगता है because your paintings i saw you the i mean i saw images of your paintings wherein you used a big broomstick and start working on the things like so a lot of action oriented paintings which will slowly come down to actions like you know yeah it's like excellent excellent ah uh, space now in your entire chai painting ho Yeah, this thing. I think it's the space element, which is the hero element of your work, of, of your body of work. So you know, the, you you you, the forms there are simply to 
make the space more dominant or more dialogue like the dialogue is that of the space not of the form you know that is where the music comes from getting me it's like now see when you do a, a painting composing a space is different but when you do an installation art composing a space is different because there wa pura roomy canvas ho jata hai and everything is three dimensional like but whereas when you do sculptures there are more sort of forms jahan pe where you collage combine fix whatever you do so mindset mein your thought process mein where the space element is the uh, one which is important one but whereas it comes to sculptures the form element is the one which comes the first one yeah. are you getting me yes 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 yeah how do you switch i think yeah it's a very interesting very interesting question uh you know um फिर देन आई वुड मैं उसको ऐसे डिफाइन करूंगी अभी आपने जो पूछा है उसको कि पेंटिंग मुझे एक दृश्य देखने जैसा लगता है बनने के बाद यू नो इट्स लाइक आई एम लुकिंग एट एन आउटलाइन ऑफ अ स्कल्पचर और समथिंग लाइक दैट यू नो एंड स्कल्पचर इज वो उस आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग दिस एज एन एग्जाम्पल कि उसमें जो एलिमेंट्स हैं दे बिकम माई स्कल्पचर With something which is embodied, you know, कि जहां मैं जैसे खिड़की से कोई दृश्य देख रही हूं और जो दृश्य देख रही हूं उस दृश्य के अंदर जो चीजें हैं you know, elements हैं वो वो that form my sculpture. So जहां पे एक element of physicality आ जाता है एक tactility आ जाता है और ये बहुत Uh, बहुत नेचुरली होता है मैं अगर मैं स्कल्पचर भी बना रही हूं तो पहले मैं उसका ड्राइंग नहीं बनाती आई कॉन्ट डू दैट बट आई आई टेक दैट मटीरियल एंड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग इट यू नो लाइक आपने कहा कि आप ब्रश लेकर शुरू हो जाते होंगे विच हैपन्स तो उसी तरह आई आई थिंक लाइक दैट आई थिंक इन दैट मीडियम मैं यहाँ ड्रॉइंग बना के यहाँ स्कल्पचर नहीं बना सकती उसे ट्रांसलेट नहीं करती इट्स नॉट अ ट्रांसलेशन सो आई थिंक वो इट्स लाइक अ रोल स्विच यू नो कितनी बार या तुम बाहर से देख रहे हो फिर तुम अंदर जाके खुद बैठ रहे हो उस जगह में हो तुम खुद एक सामान हो जाते हो उस चीज का एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट इंस्टोलेशन विच इज मोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेशल देर आई टोल्ड यू आई कोलेबरेट यू नो आई कोलेबरेटेड विद एन आर्किटेक्ट uh navin mahantesh you know so mm -hmm. i i we i started these collaborations in 2017 to uske baad humne we have done about five projects to jahan pe like where i create and we come together ki bhai us space mein to wahan pe ek architect ke inputs aate hain i mean you know that's how it goes ahead yeah yeah I, yeah yeah तो उस तरह से वो विस्तार हो जाता है वो बढ़ जाता है कि भाई उस जगह पे उस उस उसको पूरे समय को उस समा को कैसे बांधा जाए उस पूरा इकट्ठा कैसे किया जाए क्या बात द एंटायर प्रोसेस इज वेरी एक्साइटिंग एंड इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज दिस कैन नॉट बी समथिंग बिट बाय बिट बट आई एम श्योर दैट व्हेन योर व्हेन द व्हेन इट बिगिंस व्हेन द आईडिया बिगिंस a thought begins in your mind and jab tak wo execution of that entire process is very exciting i'm sure you must be enjoying like anything you know how ek cheez kaisa banta hai bigadta hai jo sochte hai sab hota nahi hai but still end of the day is like you know you get very very adventurous very adventurous uh, i don't know banita uh, is there anything by and large i got your uh, this thing but is there anything which i missed out or we would like to say something and uh, any 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 uh, some uh, some good thought good experience or good piece of work art something which you would like to share with us or something like that? 
या आई थिंक अभी हम जब बात कर रहे हैं तो आई आई एम एम रिमाइंडेड लाइक यू कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग बर्सन देयर इज नथिंग दैट यू नो वी वेंट थ्रू लॉट आई थिंक ये तकरीबन 1 घंटे में सो देयर इज लॉट बट नाउ सिंस आपने कहा तो मुझे वो एक काम जैसे हम कितनी बार एक पॉइंट मुझे अच्छा लगेगा बताना कि हम यहां पे बहुत डूइंग 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 करने के बारे में बात कर रहे थे तो बट कितनी बार हमारे आसपास चीजें होती रहती यू नो और ऐसा मेरे साथ एक बहुत सुंदर सा अनुभव हुआ था मैंने आज शायद आपको व्हाट्सएप किया है वो फोटो एक खिड़की का फोटो मैंने आपको भेज दिया या या सो आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट दैट एक्सपीरियंस या प्लीज प्लीज सो आई टेल यू व्हाट हैपेंड वाज 2015 में मेरा जब फेलोशिप मुझे एशियन कंट्री काउंसिल यू नो रॉकफेलर का फेलोशिप था न्यूयॉर्क में तो मैं गई और दो हफ्ते बाद ही वो मेरे विंडो की खिड़की पर किसी ने एक कविता इजरा पाउंड की पोएम पेस्ट कर दी तो आई यू नो आई एम अ वेरी क्लीन पर्सन मुझे कुछ भी ऐसे स्टिकर्स लगे हो या मेरे स्टूडियो में कभी धूल नहीं होगा एम लाइक आई लाइक इट वेरी लाइक परफेक्ट आज यहाँ पे काम हुआ है शाम को आपको पता भी नहीं चले अगली सुबह ओके सो तो कोई किसी ने स्टिकर लगा दिया एंड आई एम थिंकिंग भाई ये तो अभी कल उतर जाएगा मैं तो निकाल के इसको विंडो आई मीन आई वॉन्ट टू लुक थ्रू अंडो यू नो तो बट नहीं हुआ रह गया वो स्टिकर वही रह गया ओके एंड अभी यू शुड लुक थ्रू दैट दो फोटोज हैं जब वो पिक्चर लगाया गया स्टिकर और जब वो और ना कुछ दिनों बाद मैंने देखा तो वो बदलने लगा एंड एवरी टाइम आई सॉ कि भाई वो पूरा आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स एंड मैंने उसके बीच बीच में फोटोज ले रही थी उस विंडो के उस पोएम के यू नो वो कैसे आई थी छह महीने पहले और छह महीने में उसको क्या हुआ एंड यू वोट बिलीव आप जो को फोटो आप ध्यान से देखना कि हर अल्फाबेट उसमें से ना काफी निकल के बाहर आ गए एंड दे जस्ट स्टार्टेड फ्लोटिंग ऑन द विंडो पेन यू नो द विंडो ग्लास एंड इट वॉज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग फॉर मी यहाँ पे एंड देन आई कैप्टन कैप्चरिंग इट अंटिल यू नो आई लेफ्ट न्यूयॉर्क एंड फाइनली हमने इट वॉज सो ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस तो जब मुझे उन्होंने कहा फेलोशिप वालों ने कि तुमको क्या लगता है तुम्हें क्या हुआ इधर आके हाउ इट हेल्प यू देन यू नो आई वॉज थिंकिंग कि मैं कैसे बताऊँ एंड दिस केम टू माई हेल्प कि जब मैं आई थी मैं ऐसी थी यू नो वो इजरा पाउ की मॉडिफाइड पोएम की तरह आई वॉज लाइक हाँ आई हो मुझे एक तरह से है और आया है बट मैं जा रही हूँ तो मैं ऐसी हूँ लाइक आई हेव ओपन अप यू नो दैट वर्स वो जो कविता थी पूरी खुल गई एक नई कविता बनने के लिए यू नो इट ओपन अप वो अल्फाबेट्स निकल के नीचे आ गए और यहाँ पे मैंने आई नो आई जस्ट आई वॉज जस्ट देयर तो आई थिंक कला इस तरह की होती है बिल्कुल लाइक इट जस्ट समटाइम्स इट माई जस्ट अनवाइंड लाइक इट विल जस्ट हमें सुलझा देती है उलझा देती है और आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट हैपन टू दैट पोएम टू दैट विंडो to me in those you know in that particular time and uh, well said well said and in fact fir wo maine uska installation maine collaborative ek banaya tha jo abhi pandols mein bhi delhi art heritage mein bhi dikhaya tha unhone uska main aapko specific wo glass panes ke sath which talks about you know the span of time wo bhi hua tha so i think ha yahan pe to main practically kaam nahi kar rahi thi but किस तरह से किसी और चीज ने मुझ पर काम किया आई थिंक दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एन आर्टिस्ट टू अलाउ थिंग्स टू वर्क ऑन दैन बहुत खूब बहुत खूब बनीता आई थिंक आई टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम आधा घंटा बोल के एक घंटा चला गया बट आई विल डेफिनेटली इन्वाइट यू वंस अगेन फॉर अनादर राउंड ऑफ डिस्कशन maybe with another body of work and let's have because uh, 
लोग सुनना पसंद करते हैं इसमें समथिंग इन लॉक तो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड फॉर योर शेयरिंग योर एक्सपीरियंसेस विद अस थैंक यू थैंक यू विसन थैंक यू सो मच इट वाज अ प्लेजर डिस्कसिंग वर्क विद यू लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू मोर ऑफ दिस या सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वाज वनिता गुप्ता अ ब्रिलियंट आर्टिस्ट uh you should definitely watch your works do let us know what you think about this interview about this discussion do like share comment and subscribe channel we are artist and let us know what you think about this thank you very much for being with us thank you vanita once again thank you